enzymes that are present throughout the body are dependent upon normal physiologic temperature and pH for proper functioning. Common examples of enzymes include liver transaminases, cardiac and muscle enzymes, and coagulation factors. Catecholamines, such as adrenaline, are also dependent upon enzymes for proper functioning. pH is a measurement of how acidic or basic a substance is. The pH scale runs from 0 to 14. 0 is the most acidic. 14 is the most basic. 7 is neutral. If there is excess acid, the environment is called acidic or acidotic. The most acidic ions are hydrogen ions. If there is an excess of base, the environment is called basic or alkalotic. There are many basic ions in the body, but bicarbonate is very common. Too much acid in the blood is called acidemia. Too much base in the blood is called alkalemia. Normal physiologic pH in the human body ranges from 7.35 to 7.45. If the pH is less than 7.35, there is an acidemia, and if greater than 7.45, an alkalemia is present. When the pH falls outside of this physiologic range, certain functions within cells and tissues fail to work properly, which can lead to organ dysfunction. Within the body, there are several buffering systems that work to keep pH in physiologic range to ensure proper functioning of enzymes, cells, and tissues. The two most important organs that function to regulate pH are the lungs and the kidneys. This occurs through the bicarbonate carbon dioxide buffering system a reversible reaction. The respiratory system can increase or decrease the amount of carbon dioxide removed from the blood. Breathing quickly removes more carbon dioxide. Removing carbon dioxide pulls the buffer equation to the left. Pulling the equation to the left decreases the amount of acidic hydrogen ions. This decreases acidosis and creates a more alkaline environment. Conversely, decreased respiratory rates or apnea lead to a retention of carbon dioxide. Increases in retained carbon dioxide results in more hydrogen ions and more acidic states. A physiologic process that leads to increasing acid is called an acidosis, whereas a process that leads to more basic state is called an alkalosis. The lungs can create or compensate for acid and base states very quickly, within minutes. pH can also be regulated through the kidneys, which are capable of resorbing or excreting both hydrogen ions and bicarbonate. In a state of acidosis, the kidneys will work to retain bicarbonate and excrete hydrogen ions. In a state of alkalosis, the kidneys will work to excrete bicarbonate and retain hydrogen ions. In addition to the bicarbonate carbon dioxide buffering system, the kidneys have other ways to excrete acid and hydrogen ions, called urine-soluble acids. Examples include phosphoric acid and ammonium. Unlike the minutes it takes for the respiratory system to respond to acid-base changes, the kidneys may take hours to days. In normal physiologic states, pH ranges from 7.35 to 7.45. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood ranges from 38 to 42 millimeters of mercury. 
bicarbonate ranges from 22 to 26 milliequivalents per liter. A pH less than 7.35 results in an acidemia, and a pH greater than 7.45 results in an alkalemia. Acidemia can occur from too little bicarbonate or too much carbon dioxide. Alkalemia can occur from too little carbon dioxide or too much bicarbonate. When the process is driven by carbon dioxide, it is termed respiratory. When the process is driven by bicarbonate, it is termed metabolic. Therefore, it is possible to have a metabolic acidosis or a metabolic alkalosis. It is also possible to have a respiratory acidosis or a respiratory alkalosis. In many cases, it is possible to have a combination of acid-base disorders.